Astrotometry Log. It is April 26th, 2010. It's approximately 12 o'clock Pacific Standard Time. And this is a recap on the last earthquake log watch for the period ending April 25th. And I want to go over what I believe to be basically the first really failed earthquake forecast that I've made. And I think this is a great opportunity to learn. And I don't like to always dwell on um, the negative aspects or the failures, but it's the, it's those places, it's those things that allow us to learn and grow and I tend to be my own worst critic. So this is a detailed uh, sort of analysis and direction of what I believe to be the improvements that can be made on the techniques. And as an overview, I think the the biggest failing with this forecast is that I sort of lobotomized it. I sort of tried to make it much simpler than it is. I think I've oversimplified the process. And even when I look at the trends that I had already identified previously, I didn't apply a proper analysis to the forecast. And it's clear, anyone that's watching the relationship between the coronal holes and the earthquakes, that there are a lot more coronal holes than there are big earthquakes. And so one of the ways that I sort of pared that down with the technique I've developed is to look at the solar x-ray activity as an indicator of the state or the, the tending state of the core of the earth, the um, theoretical pressure on the plates from the changing dynamics in the core, what would theoretically be in the three-dimensional model, the core. Which brings up the other abstraction, which is the three-dimensional versus hyperdimensional or multi-dimensional analysis. And that's a place where I've really, really abstracted the, uh, the technique. And so I sort of sacrificed the detail in the interest of trying to make it so that other people could pick up on it and do it. And that's not going to work if the other people are not going to be able to, to uh, do, it, do it accurately. And so this is primarily some analysis for anybody that's working on this. I'm going to post uh, links in the comments area of this video for all the other uh, people who have sites and uh, are working on systems that I'm aware of so far. Um, I recently became aware of a researcher by the name of Ezra Mizrahi, an Israeli, who actually has filed patent applications for techniques that are similar to the ones that I have developed. And so his, his approach is completely different. His approach is much more um, traditional scientific rather than sort of the avant-garde stuff that I'm doing. 
and I don't know for certain that our work is completely independent. I know that there are quite a few people who are monitoring my work and doing work probably in parallel tracks that aren't even contacting me, aren't even giving me the courtesy of a heads up on what they're doing. And I'm hoping that uh, Mr. Mizrahi does not fall into this category, but I don't know. I don't want to jump to conclusions, I don't want to get paranoid. But at the same time, I think the details of the human dynamic, the details of the socio political economic dynamic present an even more significant challenge than sorting out the actual nature of the underlying mechanics. And so this latest earthquake, the 6.5, originally 6.9 in magnitude on the Richter scale, um, that was recorded by USGS near Taiwan is an anomaly. And I don't want to jump to conclusions. I hope that people who would be wanting to respect and support what I'm trying to do don't end up sabotaging me unintentionally or allowing themselves to be used by people who see how the corruption of something like this um, could be used to to defeat it. And so I think that intellectual honesty is going to be one of the keys in actually unraveling this. And so If you want to help, if you're wanting to help, please respect the science. Please respect what I'm trying to do. This isn't a scam. I'm not lying about anything that, that I know of. I think I'm being lied to. I'm pretty sure that several different directions are coming at me with all kinds of crazy stuff. Uh, and they have interests in making people afraid of things and, you know, uh, agendas or respect to wars and tactics and strategies and all this stuff and as far as I know um, <clears throat> the last four big earthquakes I posted a forecast in my log uh, a watch for the event um, within 24 hours and so 24 hours before within 24 hours of the Haiti quake within 24 hours of the Chile quake, within 24 hours of the quake that was in American Samoa, and within uh, 24 hours of the, um, I think it was, well there's been several others, the last four big ones, um, I had a watch out the day before. And statistically, that's very improbable, <laughs> considering the number of watches that I actually do. And so the anybody that understands science and statistics and stuff like that, um, in spite of uh, the efforts of, of others that are now moving in a parallel track, moving in a similar groove, um, this, is, this is real. This isn't something I'm lying about. It's not something that I think there's a big conspiracy. I mean, it's possible that some of these events were less than what they look like. I don't know, really, uh, to the extent that that sort of thing goes on. Um, it's not, I'm not, I don't, I'm not conspiring with it. I'm not gonna capitulate with that sort of thing. Um, and so, if I'm wrong about this, it probably has a lot more to do with that than it has to do with anything that I'm working on. I'm trying to sort out the details. And I was using this process before I ever shared it with anyone. I was just trying to test it with myself to see if 
<laughs> not telling anyone about it, you know, trying to eliminate all the variables to see if there was actually a correlation. And there's a very strong correlation. And so um, I'm, I'm wanting to get it in place. I'm wanting to get it working before um, we have a uh, catastrophic event here uh, in California. And so that's one of, the, one of my goals. And it, that it supports astrotometry on another level is sort of icing on the cake. Um, for me, and I'm not looking for uh, prizes for this. Um, I'm not. Uh, I don't have time for uh, accolades, and um, I, I appreciate. I really, really appreciate the the uh, the uh, the thoughts and all that. But I'm I'm constantly working on this, and this is not something that I have been able to take a break from for very long. <laughs> 